Turn now to those new inflation numbers out this morning that could signal where the economy is headed. Yes, we have had a steady stream of bad news and rising prices, but our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, is here now with, get this, Rebecca, reason for some new hope for a turning point. Good morning, TJ. A key question coming into this report was, has inflation peaked? And it appears that yes, we've reached a turning point with prices up eight and a half percent in July from a year ago. That's still elevated, but nowhere near as high as June when prices were up 9.1 percent from a year ago. And the biggest culprit here is gasoline. Those prices at the pump falling about a dollar from their records reached earlier this year above five dollars. Now we're back around the four dollar mark nationwide, and that has ripple effects in other areas of the economy. Airfares, used cars, apparel prices, they're all lower. At the same time, there are still some areas where prices are climbing. Groceries up 13.1% in July from a year ago. Shelter costs up 5.7% from a year ago. There are people who are looking for new rentals, looking for new homes who have felt that market in certain locations up as much as 20, even 25 or 30%. And that has yet to really come down and stabilize despite the fact that gasoline is the bright spot here, TJ. You mentioned a number of, of things there, but kind of for Americans listening to some of that economic news, what does this mean for uh, us and our money? TJ, there's still a disconnect here for many Americans. While prices aren't climbing as quickly, wages are not keeping up for most. With prices up 8.5%, wages up 5.2%, many people aren't feeling this in their paychecks. And as a result, you've got things like inflation really driving the Fed's decisions going forward. The Fed is on this path of hiking interest rates, trying to make the cost of borrowing more expensive to really tamp down inflation. That means new car loans, new mortgages, your credit card, they all get more expensive. One thing that is held up despite this inflation, and it continues to, is the jobs market. Jobs continue to be plentiful. There are still about two jobs for every job seeker. So if you're feeling that your paycheck is too light in this kind of economy, now is the time to go out and seek that additional work. TJ? Go, oh, Rebecca. We appreciate the little hope we can have. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.